what is up? Welcome to another video, another gloriously sunny day in London, which means it's the perfect day to go out and explore some open air markets. I'm gonna head down to Maltby Street Market near Tower Bridge, which I've been to a few times before and it's always incredible. It has some great um, duck fat chips with like a comfy duck on there last time that I went with raclette cheese was incredible but what i've got my eye on today is also something that's quite cheesy it's an incredible cheese blanket arepa from this venezuelan um, food stall down there called pepia very excited about it. i've seen lots of photos on instagram and it looks so good um so gonna have a wander down there now and hope that they've got them on today to Maltby Street Market now. So many good stalls down there. As you can see, there were duck freaks, which I went to last time, which I definitely want to go back and make a video of because it was incredible. But there's so many other different cuisines and things to choose from as well. There's balm mise, there's like sausage and mash, there's Ethiopian, pretty much everything that you could possibly want. But it was the cheese blanket that was tempting me today looks absolutely incredible not only do they make the cheese blankets there but they also make the arepas fresh there as well you could see them kind of like cooking them all down and then the bubbling cheese as it's grilled up before it's put in that arepa just looks insane you can get jalapenos pepperoni bacon and um, i just went for quite a simple one um, just with some jalapenos in just wanted to keep it pretty pretty simple but you can get lots of other different stuff as well there's they do halloumi um, black beans I'm so excited for it. It looks so indulgent. Melty cheese on the inside and then the outside has been caramelized so it's all brown and crispy. I'm gonna dig in now because I can't wait any longer. Have the incredible looking arepa here now. You can see on the inside or the way that they fold it, it's all really crisp and then the outside is lovely and cheesy so you've got that gorgeous drip down the arepa. I don't really know what the best way is to eat this. It's kind of in a nice, foil pocket so you can just pick it up um, probably just bite in um, and hope for the best. The way that it's kind of dripped and folded makes it look like some sort of face. Um, <laughs> little ears on the side, quite cute. Um, I would never normally have gone for chilies with cheese in the past but I'm an absolute chilli addict now so it had to be that one. Mmm. That is absolute cheese heaven. If you're a cheese fiend, this is for you. So you've got the nice contrast between kind of crispy and crunchy, and then ooey and gooey, and then the arepa is so perfectly cooked and light and fluffy, just gorgeous all together. Mm. You can kind of feel the sort of grease and oiliness from the cheese kind of moistening your lips. Um, certainly not a healthy option per se, but wow, is it delicious. I actually think this might be my first time having an arepa as well. I don't believe I've had one before, but definitely preferring it to kind of like a classic, um, sort of tortilla wrap or anything like that you've got the lovely sort of corn maize texture from it kind of akin to what you get from a cornbread which I absolutely love just gives it a bit more of a fluffier texture and um, pleasantly surprised it's really great I'm gonna tear off a big bit of this cheese blanket now can't believe what a good invention this is I've never seen it anywhere else before it's so much fun the jalapenos add such a lovely heat to it as well um, I would have loved to have seen like some sort of pulled beef or pulled chicken. I can't recall seeing that on the menu at all, but that would have been incredible to pair with this cheese blanket. Mm. Look at how much you get in there. It was nine pounds in total for this, which I don't think is too bad in the grand scheme of things of London prices. And um, it's pretty hefty portion as well and very comforting. 
like the best kind of cheese panini you could possibly hope for. Just like a fairly simple plain cheese, not too strong in flavour. It looked like maybe like a cheddar or a mozzarella, it was hard to tell. But I love how they cook it all there right in front of you, grilling it all up and then folding it into the wrapper. Mm. The further down you get, the more melty the cheese is as well. And they put a bit of sauce and things in there as well. It looks like a bit of hot, hot sauce, kind of like a herby kind of dressing as well, which adds even more flavour to it. Look at that cheese pull. What more could you want? Keeps going, keeps going. See, cheese blankets picked up some of that herby sauce from the inside as well. It smells so delicious. Look at all of that. Mm. That herb sauce is incredible when you get further down. Thing is in terms of ingredients there's not actually that much kind of going on here cheese some jalapeno chilies a bit of herb sauce a corner raper so you wouldn't expect it to necessarily be the most like flavor kind of packed thing but it is there's saltiness there's dairy there's creaminess there's heat wow i'm very very impressed you can see all the wonderful sauce at the bottom of the array for which they've packed in there. Mm. Even on its own, it is delicious. The dough is so good. It makes me want to go out and have so many more array I feel like I've been missing out on this for such a huge portion of my life and I need more. All finished up now was absolutely delicious and um, thought it was going to be good but didn't think it was going to be that good it was cheesy perfection and um, I never used to be the biggest of cheese lovers but that hit the spot like something else would highly recommend Maltby Street Market it's open on a Saturday and a Sunday just down near Tower Bridge absolutely stacks of choice to choose from and Peppier serving up those cheese blankets incredible and um, but would highly recommend duck frites as well and um, really hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one